Welcome inside a sold out TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts for your Thanksgiving 2022 edition of the WWE Survivor Series. So momentum has got to be in the corner of the challenger here tonight. Ricochet again takes it to the air to pick and heal over the top rope. Sending Pete Dunne to the outside, turned his back on the wrong guy. McIntyre hooking the arms. Future Shock DDT. A clean sweep for Drew McIntyre and company here tonight. One of the heart and souls of WWE for many years. Dolph's had a decorated career and forget what we were about to say because that may have been a knockout blow. Super kick, but Tommaso Ciampa gets his shoulder up at the last second. And we may be in Cena's hometown, but just as it always is, the crowd split hot and heavy here tonight in Boston for this last man standing grudge match. Lashley fighting it off. Dijakovic right now. The whole herp is just riding on the shoulders of the almighty. Oh no, Dijakovic, Dijakovic, retribution's in mind. Feast your eyes on Bobby Lashley. A clean sweep by Dijakovic, Priest and Styles. The world tag team champions and the phenomenal one walking away with the victory over the herp business. It is a big fight feel here in Boston. Play with Randy Orton ever since, and Edge eats the cell. And Edge is trying to fight back. Felt the steel of the cold, steel cold of the cell. Doesn't want to do it again, and Edge sent Randy Orton through the cage wall. Oh no, Edge spear, a spear on top of the cell. The table's in play, Orton again sends Edge through the wood of the table. I think Edge may be the one now counting his lucky stars and he avoided disaster. Or it may be in trouble. Edge in the corner. This is what Edge needs to walk away the champion. A spear. After all the offense that he's taken from Orton, RKO out of nowhere. Oh no. Orton, eyeing him up. RKO number two. They say hell in the cell will change your career forever. And I don't know if Edge nor Randy Orton, no matter the result, will ever be the same again. The WWE has entered an age of Orton, the new WWE champion, the Apex Predator. After a historic Survivor Series pay-per-view, we are live for Monday Night Raw from the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. Not only for Monday Night Raw, but for the WWE 2022 Draft Lottery. What a night it is gonna be. Live here tonight in Cleveland and two huge matches already signed for this evening in your main event. It is a no holds barred grudge match. The Nigerian Giant, the Colossal Amos, takes on the original bro, Matt Riddle. This thing has been looming for months. These two men are gonna let loose with anything goes later tonight. And also coming up here on Raw, up next that will kick off the show, an Intercontinental Championship defense from the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa against Dominic Mysterio. A lot of writing on this matchup dating back to over a month ago on Monday Night Raw. We're gonna touch on it in moments. But ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the 2022 WWE Draft. As we've been talking about for weeks, Friday Night SmackDown is coming back on the air. And tonight, WWE executives Triple H and Stephanie McMahon will draft for the preliminary brands. Triple H on Raw and Stephanie McMahon on SmackDown. We are gonna run down the rules of the draft and get into round number one before our opening contest. So picks will alternate back and forth, 
starting with Monday Night Raw. The women's division has been signed to Monday Night Raw, which we'll touch on in a moment as well. The cruiserweight division has already been assigned to Friday Night SmackDown. Now, cruiserweights had the option to choose between the SmackDown roster and the draft pool. Superstars such as the cruiserweight champion Ricochet, Dominic and Rey Mysterio, some of those names that chose the draft pool instead of going right to SmackDown. The draft, of course, will continue until the draft pool is completely empty. But as we just mentioned, the Monday Night Raw first acquisition is the entire WWE Women's Division, including the new Women's Champion Shotzi, the new Women's Tag Team Champions, Candice LeRae and e Indy Hartwell, Io Shirai, Rhea Ripley, Asuka, Bianca Belair, so many names. The Women's Division is going to be the sole property of Monday Night Raw. That is a huge get and a lot of news to run down. The women are going to be a preliminary part of Monday Night Raw moving forward, but of course, Friday Night SmackDown also already assigned the Cruiserweight Division. And as we mentioned, there were the option for all these cruiserweights to either enter the cruiserweight division and officially go to SmackDown immediately, as you see the list here of the names that have already been assigned to SmackDown. But there was the select flu select flu few, excuse me, Dominic and Rey Mysterio, two men who qualify as cruiserweights who have elected to enter the draft pool, so they may end up on Monday Night Raw. And as for the cruiserweight champion, Ricochet. He is also elected to enter the draft pool. And if Ricochet is drafted by Monday Night Raw tonight, well, then he is going to have to vacate that Cruiserweight Championship that he has held for over 151 days as of Survivor Series last week. So a lot of news there. Women going to Raw, Cruiserweights going to SmackDown. But ladies and gentlemen, before we get into our Intercontinental Championship matchup, it is time for round number one of the WWE Draft. Five picks for each brand going to be made. Again, Triple H will be representing Raw. Stephanie McMahon representing Friday Night SmackDown. Let's kick things off with the first pick by Monday Night Raw. And they are kicking it off with the brand new WWE Champion, the Apex Predator, hot off the heels of Hell in a Cell at Survivor Series. Randy Orton will be making his home on Monday Night Raw. And as for Friday Night SmackDown, their first get, somebody who also had a successful Survivor Series, the Scottish Psychopath, Drew McIntyre, looking to become the face of the blue brand on Friday Night. Stephanie McMahon chooses Drew McIntyre first overall for Friday Night SmackDown. And for Monday Night Raw, Triple H picks the other half of the Hell in a Cell match from Survivor Series, the former WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge, gonna be right here on Monday Night Raw. For Friday Night SmackDown, the franchise player, John Cena, who picked up that win over Austin Theory in the last man standing match at Survivor Series last Thursday night. John Cena making his way to Friday Nights on SmackDown. And Monday Night Raw just got a little more phenomenal. AJ Styles going to be staying on Monday nights. He's got a bone to pick with Omos as well, who we'll see later tonight. He just wrapped up a huge victory over the Hurt Business at Survivor Series, AJ Styles on Monday Night Raw. And for Friday Night SmackDown, the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins, who's been on a bit of a bad luck streak over the last number of months, but he's looking to write a new chapter in his career on Friday Night. Seth Rollins heading to SmackDown. And the WWE World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, who were alongside AJ Styles at Survivor Series. They defeated the Hurt Business. Priest and Dijakovic going to be on Monday Night Raw. And next up for SmackDown, all oh, speaking of the Hurt Business and a little bit of dissension, Bobby Lashley along with MVP. So not the complete Hurt Business being drafted here. All men entered the draft pool separately. Lashley and MVP specifically heading to Friday Night SmackDown. And last up in the first round for Monday Night Raw, Raw chooses the now, all day, Austin Theory. Going to be looking to bounce back soon after that loss to John Cena. Theory going to be on Monday nights. And the final pick of the first round for SmackDown. Oh man, going to be the first NXT draft choice of the evening. Marcel Barthel, Fabian Eichner, and Walter Imperium in their entirety is heading to SmackDown. What a first round in the draft. A big night tonight on Monday Night Raw. Randy Orton, Edge, AJ Styles, Damian Priest, Dominic Dijakovic, Austin Theory already assigned to Monday Night Raw. Drew McIntyre, John Cena, Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley with MVP, and Imperium in their entirety have been chosen to go to Friday Night SmackDown. 
It's going to be a, an historic night here in Cleveland, and we are kicking things off with our first matchup of the evening for the Inner Continental Championship of the World. And Dominic Mysterio being rewarded this opportunity after the events that happened about a month ago on Monday Night Raw. Dominic went one-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion Tommaso Ciampa. He came up short after an impressive showing in that matchup. But as you see here, Tommaso Ciampa looking to send a message to the locker room after the matchup, laying out Dominic Mysterio at ringside, beating the hell out of the young man. And as we mentioned, sending a message to the entire Monday Night Raw locker room that the Blackheart was on a dominant streak. So after that impressive performance from Dominic Mysterio in that matchup, and Tommaso Ciampa retaining the Intercontinental Championship last Thursday at Survivor Series, which we will touch on, Dominic going to have his crack to get a measure of revenge over Tommaso Ciampa, but not only that, possibly walk out of Cleveland tonight, walk out of the historic WWE Draft 2022 with his first singles championship here in the WWE. Dominic recently is coming off a... Very epic tag team championship run with his father, Rey Mysterio. Both men have been on the losing side and singles wise as of late, but maybe Dominic can bring some good luck to the Mysterio household. But here comes the Intercontinental Champion, the black heart of the WWE, Tommaso Ciampa. And as we mentioned, it was this past Thursday, Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series, Tommaso Ciampa defended the Intercontinental Championship against the number one contender of the show off, Dolph Ziggler. And you gotta give credit where it's due. Dolph Ziggler almost had Tommaso Ciampa on multiple occasions throughout the matchup, as you see there. But in the end, Tommaso Ciampa just able to absorb the blobs, absorb the offense from Dolph Ziggler. And in the end, the Blackheart continuing his undefeated streak since showing up to the main roster, retaining the Intercontinental Championship last Thursday night in Boston. So a win over Dominic Mysterio well over a month ago. He's going to run it back here tonight. Let's see if Mysterio can pull off the win. Champ owns two victories over Dolph Ziggler. A win over Ilya Dragunov. A win over the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne where he won the Intercontinental Championship all the way back in September at Judgment Day. Tommaso Ciampa has been on a dominating role since joining Monday Night Raw in the main roster. Is it going to continue here tonight? Or is Dominic Mysterio... About to pull up the upset of a lifetime and walk away with the Intercontinental Championship. Big fight feel here to kick off Monday Night Raw in the WWE Draft. Let's send things down the ring to your official introductions. Introducing the challenger from San Diego, California. Weighing in at 200 pounds. Dominic And introducing the champion from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Tommaso Ciampa! You look into the eyes of Tommaso Ciampa. It's a cold, hard, and deafening stare. Unless he's staring at the Intercontinental Championship that he holds so dear to his heart. But Dominic Mysterio taking a look at the prestigious gold that has been held by so many greats, including his father, Rey Mysterio. This is how you kick off what is going to be a memorable episode of Monday Night Raw, the first Raw after Survivor Series. The WWE Draft has already started to take place. What a round number one. And now we're kicking things off immediately. First match of the night. Intercontinental titles on the line. Dominic about to steal a victory here. Oh, but Tommaso Ciampa gets the shoulder up, but that's got to be the strategy of Dominic Mysterio. Use the speed to his advantage. And maybe try to use the fact that Tommaso Ciampa not only participated at Survivor Series last week, but remember 24 hours prior to Survivor Series, on the final episode of Main Event, Tommaso Ciampa teamed up with Roderick Strong as the two men took on Ricochet and Dolph Ziggler. So Tommaso Ciampa may be coming into this match nowhere near 100% after competing in th inside the squared circle. Excuse us. Not once, but twice last week. So Dominic Mysterio just may have a little bit of momentum on his side here tonight. Or should say may have a little bit of advantage. Tommaso Ciampa's definitely coming in with some momentum. Three. Two wins last week for Tommaso Ciampa. An opportunity of a lifetime for Dominic as the fight continues on the outside of the ring. And Dominic sending the black heart into the steel steps. Dominic's got retribution in mind for night. And Dominic's headed to the top rope. 
going high risk, high reward on the Intercontinental Champion. As we mentioned, retribution in mind after the attack from Tommaso Ciampa well over a month ago on Monday Night Raw. Dominic not looking to let this opportunity slip through his fingers here tonight. Tommaso Ciampa, if he wants to have a chance at retaining the Intercontinental Championship here, he's got to get his wits about him in this Intercontinental Championship defense on Monday Night Raw. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. If you did not check out the Survivor Series pay-per-view, go catch the replay now right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. An epic pay-per-view event that featured the WWE Championship being defended inside Hell in a Cell between the rated R superstar Edge and the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. And of course, both of those men officially drafted to Monday Night Raw. Randy Orton, the new WWE Champion, your first overall pick this evening. Round number one, again, Randy Orton, Edge, AJ Styles, Damian Priest, Dominic Dijakovic, and Austin Theory all heading to Monday Night Raw. And on the other hand, for Friday Night SmackDown, Drew McIntyre, John Cena, Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley along with MVP and the first pickup from NXT. A couple of NXT names in the draft pool. Imperium in their entirety making their way to the main roster will be joining Friday Night SmackDown. What a burning hammer from Tommaso Ciampa. It's been an awesome night already and Tommaso Ciampa may have just turned the tides in this Intercontinental Championship matchup. Ciampa heading back to the top rope. Usually something we see out of the Mysterio family, but look at that, sidesteps it there. And Dominic back in control in this matchup. They take advantage of the misstep, a rare misstep from the Blackheart. And still to come tonight here on Monday Night Raw, grudge match well over two months in the making. No holds barred, the Nigerian giant, the colossal Omos, goes one-on-one -on -one with the original bro, Matt Riddle. Be one hell of a fight in the main event tonight of Monday Night Raw. Much more action still to come in three more rounds of the WWE Draft before the draft pool is empty and we officially kick off a new era here in the WWE. The Intercontinental Champion back in control over Dominic Mysterio. I'm sure Ray, Dominic's father, is watching this back in the locker room, allowing his son to go out there on his own tonight, prove his worth. Doesn't always need his father in his corner holding his hand. Dominic's a young man who's going to have a bright future here in the WWE. And win, lose, or draw tonight, I'm sure, is going to leave an impression not just on the WWE Universe here in Cleveland, but on everybody all around the world. Champa trying to take the fight. You see Dominic Mysterio making sure he doesn't get into two deep waters there, but Champa's a hard son of a bitch to get the advantage over. Goes for the drop pick, but again, the Intercontinental Champion's got it scouted. I'm going to send his challenger back into the ring. And again, Tommaso Ciampa competed not just at Survivor Series, but competed in a tag team matchup just 24 hours prior. Two matchups, two victories nonetheless for the Blackheart last week. And wait a minute, Dominic Mysterio, a little lie cheating and stealing. I don't think the referee had a nice vantage point there. Dominic went low on the Intercontinental Champion. Payback's a bitch for Tommaso Ciampa. A Dominic Mysterio. He's got the champion down. He's headed to the top rope. A little Viva La Raza here could reward the championship to the Mysterio family. And in the cover. Oh, a Champa barely able to roll the shoulder off the canvas. You gotta be kidding me there. You can't say that Tommaso Ciampa, after everything he's done, not just to Dominic Mysterio, but in general, since arriving to the main roster, didn't earn that low blow right there. A page out of the late great Eddie Guerrero's book, Dominic went high with that splash, but unfortunately not enough to keep Ciampa down yet. But Dominic doing the right thing, trying to stay on the upper hand, trying to keep fighting to win the Intercontinental Championship here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Hopefully he didn't piss off Tommaso Ciampa or Dominic's going to be in trouble. Oh, man, what a knee. Ciampa's so vicious with delivering those kind of knees and moves like that where he just drops his opponent right on the back of his damn head. German suplex into the cover goes the champion. But Dominic able to get the shoulder up. The young man keeps fighting. Dominic's dazed Champa again going to the top rope and he drops the axe hammer to the back of the head on his challenger. Now 
Ciampa submission hold here. A little bit of a clover leaf driving the knee into the back of Dominic Mysterio. Dominic may have no choice but to tap out here. Intercontinental Champion's got it wrenched in. No, the challenger's still fighting. Dominic not going down without a fight here tonight. It's hard to keep the Intercontinental Champion weary for long. A nice counter by Dominic. Beautiful moonsault there. He's got to capitalize. Into the cover he goes. Are we going to see a new Intercontinental Champion here on Raw? Champa says no. Dominic's heading to the top. I don't think he realized that Champa was already starting to get back to his feet. No. Huracanarana works out for Dominic Mysterio. Springboard on Champa's up. Dominic didn't realize it. And he crashes and burns. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dominic goes up. And he goes down to the back of the knees. You might be able to count to 20 off that maneuver, and Ciampa retains the Intercontinental Championship. But you gotta give credit where it's due. Dominic Mysterio, in his second matchup against Tommaso Ciampa, pushed him to a limit yet again, and almost became the Intercontinental Champion, but tonight belongs, unfortunately. Whoa, 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 wait a minute! Back inside the ring! The Bruiserweight Pete Dunne is here! Pete Dunne! who had an issue to settle with the Celtic warrior Sheamus, finally right in those wrongs at Survivor Series, now looks back to Tommaso Ciampa, the man who took away his Intercontinental Championship back on September the 10th of this year. The Bruiserweight has not forgotten about when the Blackheart laid him out week after week, when Tommaso Ciampa threw him off the stage, and when Tommaso Ciampa took away the Intercontinental Championship from Pete Dunne. Message sent. Hellbound to Tampa. Pete Dunn sending a message that the Bruiserweight is coming back for the Intercontinental Championship. What well, is time for the WWE Draft to continue? Round number one really starting to take shape for Raw and SmackDown already. But let's kick off round number two of the 2022 WWE Draft. Up first for Triple H and Monday Night Raw. They select the man who we will see in the main event later tonight. The original bro going to be making his home each and every Monday night here on Raw. We'll see him again later tonight in action and no holds barred versus the Colossal Omas. And up for SmackDown, first in round two, the Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet wanted to possibly expand his horizons, let all opportunities in, but he's gonna get to hold on to that Cruiserweight Championship and defend it against the best in the division on Friday Night SmackDown. And up next for Monday Night Raw, they choose the man who just had a successful championship defense, the Intercontinental Champion, the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa staying on Raw. You gotta wonder if Ciampa's got his wits about him right now after that attack from the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Up next for Friday Night SmackDown, they choose the Prince, Finn Balor. Finn Balor recently aligned with A-Kid, may have came up short at Survivor Series, but I'm sure Balor's got new opportunities on the horizon on Friday nights. And for Monday Night Raw, oh man, the New Day trio, Big E and Xavier Woods, who have both been out of action all year long, Kofi, King and, Kofi Kingston, excuse me, who's been taking a hiatus, the New Day collectively on their way back to the WWE, and they're going to be joining Monday Night Raw. And for Friday Night SmackDown, they choose the tag team of the father and son duo. We just saw Dominic in the ring, his himself, excuse me, as well as his father Ray, gonna be heading to Friday Night SmackDown. Possibly could be looking at two challengers for the Cruiserweight Championship. And Monday Night Raw selects another man we just saw out there making a statement against Tommaso Ciampa, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunn, heading to Raw, and I'm sure he's very happy with this decision. He's going to get a chance to get inside the ring with Tommaso Ciampa yet again in the near future. And SmackDown selects the show-off Dolph Ziggler. May have came up short at Survivor Series, but the show-off, an impressive, always impressive pick, and he's going to be heading to Friday Night SmackDown. And for Monday Night Raw, they choose the dominating Karrion Cross along with Scarlett. Ever since Cross returned to the WWE, he's been on a rampage, undefeated here on Monday Night Raw, and he's going to be staying on the red brand. Everybody's in trouble with Cross here. And last up in round number two for SmackDown, they choose the tag team 
of Rick Boogs and the man who was successful at Survivor Series along with Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne, Shinsuke Nakamura heading to Friday Night SmackDown. We are back inside the arena here in Cleveland and we are getting set for a number one contenders women's tag team championship matchup. New champions were crowned at Survivor Series and we're gonna set up the first challengers here tonight in Cleveland on Monday Night Raw. Damage control on their way to the ring. Real quick, we wanna take you back to what happened this past Thursday at the Survivor Series pay-per-view. It was the conclusion of the eight team tag team tournament to crown new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Io Shirai and Zia Lee, taking on Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way. And both teams laying it all outside in the squared circle, as all eight teams did throughout this tournament. But in the end, Candice LeRae face plants Zia Lee and the way walking away from Boston, the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. So we're here tonight on Monday Night Raw. It's going to be Bailey and Dakota Kai of Damage Control taking on Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss at a number one contenders matchup. Who is going to be the first challengers for the way? We are going to find out right here, right now on Monday Night Raw. Both these teams did participate in the Tag Team Championship Tournament, which again, what a tournament it was, man, that really took place on Raw, the main event over the last month. All eight teams really just laid it in the ring, laid it all on the line each and every week, all for the chance to head to Survivor Series and walk away with the Women's Tag Team Championships. And of course, as we saw in the end, it was Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. You may not like their attitudes, you may not like their egos, but they get it done from bell to bell, and they did just that at the TD Garden in Boston this past Thursday night Survivor Series. Again, you can go check out the replay right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Nice bulldog by Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai, I'm sure, would love to get back in the winning column, not just because of both these teams coming up short in the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. But you want to remember last week on main event, 24 hours before Survivor Series, Dakota Kai went one-on-one -on -one with the former WWE Women's Champion, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and came up short in that singles affair. So I'm sure Dakota Kai's got that in mind. It does not want to come up short yet again here on Monday Night Raw. Liv Morgan going to whip Dakota Kai off into the corner where Alexa Bliss is waiting. We're going to get a tag here. Alexa Bliss going up, little double team maneuver from Bliss and Liv. And as this matchup continues, we want to run down the results of round one and round two of the WWE draft so far tonight for Triple H's Monday Night Raw. They have chosen, in order, the WWE champion Randy Orton, Edge, AJ Styles, the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, Austin Theory, Matt Riddle, the Intercontinental Champion Tommaso Ciampa, The New Day, Gonna be back here in the WWE. Big E, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, all coming to Monday Night Raw. The Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, and they rounded out round number two with Karrion Cross. And as for Stephanie McMahon on Friday Night SmackDown, she selected the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre number one overall. She followed up with the franchise John Cena, then Seth freaking Rollins, the almighty Bobby Lashley is gonna be accompanied by Montel Vontavious Porter, the first pickup from NXT, Imperium in their entirety. Fabian Eichner, Marcel Barthel, and Walter on their way to SmackDown. And then she kicked off round number two with the Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet. Followed up with Finn Balor, Dominic and Rey Mysterio, the show-off Dolph Ziggler. And they concluded round number two with the tag team of Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura. So two more rounds still to go in the WWE Draft tonight. Friday Night SmackDown and Monday Night Raw already starting to take shape of what has been an historic night of Monday Night Raw action. We're at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. Dakota Kai and Alexa Bliss in there right now battling out for their teams to become the number one contenders for the Women's Tag Team Championships currently held by Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way. I'm sure both of these teams would love to get their hands and a chance at the gold. We're looking at a lot of former champions in there right now. Bailey tagged in to go one-on-one -on -one with Alexa Bliss. These two women got a lot of history with each other, dating back to about 2017 right here on Monday Night Raw where they were battling it out over the WWE Women's Championship. And Liv Morgan tagged in. Nice head scissors. Takes over the leader of damage control right there, Bailey. Liv coming out hot here. They were living Alexa Bliss. Their pairing really came together 
through a mutual respect after the two battled it out in a triple threat matchup with Asuka all the way back in September at Judgment Day. Asuka, of course, retained the women's championship on that night, but it was Liv Morgan. Wait a minute. Bailey to Bailey out of nowhere. Into the cover she goes, but Liv Morgan not done just yet. Almost had new number one contenders in damage control. Bailey gonna follow it up. Signature elbow drop. Liv Morgan though absorbs the blow. Solid head scissors takes Bailey over again. And Liv Morgan's feeling it here in Cleveland. But Bailey right there. Can't take your eye off of Bailey. A woman who's very familiar inside the squared circle. Really has become a veteran of the ring. One of the four horse women of the WWE, a former NXT Women's Champion Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion, former Tag Team Champion, former Money in the Bank winner is Bailey. She tags in Dakota Kai, Alexa Bliss is in as well. A couple of fresh legs in this number one contenders matchup. Alexa taking down Dakota Kai. An impressive offense by Alexa Bliss. The goddess very dangerous in there. Really brings a different arsenal than a lot of other women in the division. Of course, we found out earlier tonight that the entire WWE Women's Division has been assigned to Monday Night Raw. That includes all four women you're seeing right here. It's a very huge acquisition for Triple H and Monday Night Raw to be able to acquire the entire Women's Division of the WWE. And of course, the entire Cruiserweight Division has been assigned to SmackDown. Twisted Bliss. Oh, but Bailey breaks it up, and we are about to have new number one contenders there. I think Dakota Kai was out for good. Off that twisted Bliss, but Alexa Bliss not able to pick up the win due to Bailey's antics. And it gives Dakota Kai enough time to gain control here. Bulldog takes Bliss down. Simple but effective maneuver out of Dakota Kai. Former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion herself knows what it's like to hold gold here in the WWE. I'm sure she'd love to get another chance to do it again. Dakota Kai goes for the classic boot, but Alexa Bliss gets out of the way. Takes her down with the clothesline. Who is going to walk away from Cleveland? The number one contenders for the Women's Tag Team Championships of the World. Dakota Kai down. Bliss heads up top again. Twisted Bliss. Or is it going to be Alex for a splash right there? And into the cover she goes. But again, Bailey in there to break it up. And Dakota Kai able to slip her shoulder up. There's Liv Morgan. Referee's got to gain control here as the number one contenders matchup is starting to break down. Bliss, wait a minute. Sneaky little pinfall there. But Dakota Kai again gets the shoulder up. And Bailey interfering, interfering, excuse me, really put a halt on this matchup. Alexa had it won on multiple occasions, but Bailey there to save the day for damage control. Liv Morgan in the matchup now with Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai taking a lot of offense these last few minutes from Alexa Bliss. Definitely going to be worse for wear right now. And Liv Morgan is in control of this matchup. Look at Liv. What a beautiful maneuver. But Bailey again, right there to break up the pinfall. And Liv trying to set her sights on Bailey. It may not be the right idea. Dakota Kai going for an unprettier. No, instead, Bulldog maneuver. And Dakota going to tag in Bailey, and what's most likely is a smart maneuver here. As Dakota's taken a lot of offense from Bliss and Liv the last few minutes, and Bailey. Definitely the freshest competitor in the contest. Bailey heading to the top rope. Liv Morgan's looking dazed right now. In enemy territory in that corner. Goes for the cross body. Look at the strength of Liv Morgan, though. Able to catch her. Power slam down. Watch her inside the squared circle. Continue to impress week after week. Drops the elbow there. Bailey's dazed. Liv Morgan with a shot. Oh, and Liv Morgan plants her. Will that be enough? Bailey may be out for good, but Bailey gets the shoulder up, and the number one contenders match continues to roll on here on Raw. And of course, we're talking a lot about the women's tag team championships, but we cannot forget the women's championship matchup that took place at Survivor Series. What a fight it was between Asuka and Shotzi. Really the culmination of a multiple month journey for Satsi to get her one-on-one -on -one matchup with the woman who took away the title from her all the way back at SummerSlam in June, Asuka. And Shotzi, of course, able to outlast the Empress in the TD Garden on Thanksgiving night and walking away, the new WWE Women's Champion did Shotzi.
Again, what a matchup it was, man. Asuka threw basically everything she had at Shotzi. And Shotzi, as we always talk about, just continuing to get better, continuing to grow inside of the ring, was able to withstand the punishment, outlasted the Empress, walked away from Survivor Series, holding the gold for now the second time in her career. Focuses on the match inside the squared circle. Alexa Bliss has been tagged in. Able to no, that doesn't take Bailey off her feet. And Bailey, simple, but maybe a knockout blow kick right there. Alexa Ducks comes at her with a drop kick. Back and forth we go here with the reversals. Got her tied up and drops the knee and takes him out from underneath her. Tag made it to Kota Kai. We're back to Kai and Alexa Bliss, who is going to walk away the number one contendership. Alexa on the shoulders of Kai. Could be looking for a kick, but instead puts her in the corner. And it's got Alexa almost out and about here. Oh no, I think we know what's coming. Boot scraped to hell from Dakota Kai. And that may have just rewarded the number one contendership to damage control, but Alexa Bliss gets the shoulder up again. Now Alexa, scissor maneuver arm drag takes down Dakota Kai. And all four of these women leaving it all they got inside the square circle tonight. Everybody wants the opportunity to fight Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell for those WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Dakota's down. Bliss heading to the top rope. Going to be looking for a big time super fly splash again. And not enough. Dakota getting the shoulder up as this Tag Team Championship number one contenders matchup rolls on. Liv took out Bailey there. Motion inside of the ring, breaking down again. Alexa goes over on Dakota Kai into the cover. Pitfall. Dakota gets the shoulder up. Dakota's day is Alexa Bliss has got her eyes locked. Kick to the gut. Classic DDT by Bliss. And Bailey's nowhere to be found. Into the cover she goes. And Alexa Bliss picks up the victory for her team. An impressive tag team matchup on both ends of the squared circle. But in the end, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan outlasting Bailey and Dakota Kai at damage control. And we got your new number one contenders for the women's tag team gold. Here are your winners, Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss. Number one contenders now, but could we be looking at the next women's tag team champions of the WWE? The action rolls on here on Monday Night Raw to women's division action as Raquel Gonzalez, who debuted on the main roster part of the tag team title tournament, goes one on one with Saray plus the Viking Raiders 2v2 against Dawkins and Ford of the Street Profits. And in the women's division contest, Raquel Gonzalez picking up a singles victory. We could be looking at a future challenger for the women's championship in Shotzi. And in the tag team affair, it's the Viking Raiders picking up the win over the Street Profits. This monumental night rolls on. It is now time for round number three of the 2022 WWE Draft. Up first for Monday Night Raw. Oh man, the returning Kevin Owens who has been out with an injury since WrestleMania of this year. KO is on his way back to Raw. What a pickup for Monday Nights and the game Triple H. And who is heading to Friday Night SmackDown? First up in the third round, the glorious Robert Roode. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the rated R superstar Edge not too long ago here on Raw. The former NXT champion going to be making his home on Friday nights. And next up in round number three for Raw, they pick up the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Former Intercontinental Champion may have came up short along with his team at Survivor Series, but Sheamus going to be making his home on Raw. I'm sure there's going to be hell to pay for everybody, including Pete Dunne. And up next for SmackDown, Mustafa Ali, a former number one contender for the WWE Championship. Things haven't been going Ali's way as of late. Will he be able to bounce back as a member of Friday Night SmackDown? We're going to have to see in the near future. And up next for Raw, one half of our main event, the Nigerian giant, the colossal Omos. We'll see him in action later when it's no holds barred versus the original bro, Matt Riddle. And up next for Friday Night SmackDown in round number three, 
Oh, another NXT draft pick for SmackDown. Whose name do you got to say? L.A. Knight. Making his way to Friday Night SmackDown a huge get for Stephanie McMahon's brand. And they just picked up a win moments ago against Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits. Eric and Ivar, the former World Tag Team Champions, the Viking Raiders, headed to Monday Night Raw. And up next... It's gonna be Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz. Aziz went toe to toe with McIntyre last week on Raw. Crews was the sole survivor for Team Sheamus at Survivor Series. Maybe coming up short as of late, but they're heading to SmackDown, trying to gain some momentum back. And for Monday Night Raw, the whole damn show, Rob Van Dam. Same thing here, he may have came up short with Jeff Hardy for the World Tag Team titles last week on Raw. Will he be able to bounce back with some momentum in the near future? Oh, wow, and well, it ain't going to be with Jeff Hardy by his side. What a one-time pairing. RVD, Jeff Hardy split up. Jeff Hardy is on his way to Friday Night SmackDown. And that rounds it out for round number three. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're back inside the arena. Monday Night Raw rolls on with a man who was just drafted to Friday Night SmackDown moments ago, Mustafa Ali. I guess you could say this is going to be a swan song on Monday nights. Ali has really had a career resurgence this year. Really righting a lot of the wrongs of the past is what was Ali's focus for several months. You look back at the summer against Seth Rollins. Really owned the victories, or I should say owned the summer with victories over Seth Rollins, including a big time victory all the way back at SummerSlam in a steel cage matchup against the visionary Seth Rollins. You remember Ali was a participant in the WWE Championship match at Extreme Rules. Was the man who fought Randy Orton for the number one contendership for the WWE Championship back at Judgment Day. Ali may be coming up short lately when it comes to these big time opportunities, but you can't count Ali out. And with SmackDown on the horizon, I'm sure Mustafa Ali is looking to get back in the winning ways in the near future. Wait a minute here. Mustafa Ali set for action. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen. What a surprise! It is hometown of Cleveland. The whole shebang. Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Gargano is here on Monday Night Raw. Gargano has been on a hiatus from the WWE since last December. And what a night of all nights to make a return. Cleveland. Your hometown, the roll after Survivor Series, the historic WWE Draft. Ain't nobody see this coming. Johnny Gargano is back in the WWE. And he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with Mustafa Ali here on Raw. Not something we saw coming here tonight, but I guess expect the unexpected here on the WWE's premier program of Monday Night Raw. And what a matchup we got set for. I mean, what a night it's been here on Raw with the WWE Draft Intercontinental Championship matchup. We just got done a number one contenders match for the Tag Team Championships of the Women's Division. No holds barred, still to come. Still one more round of the WWE Draft coming up next. But Johnny Gargano is back in the WWE. And clearly the crowd favorite here in his hometown of Cleveland against Mustafa Ali and here we go an unexpected matchup on Raw Gargano versus Ali yeah what a surprise the former NXT champion former NXT tag team champion former NXT North American champion Grand Slam winner in NXT he did it all there was to do on the black and gold brand took a hiatus from NXT in the WWE last December and all these months later what a night to return. Gargano is back. Mustafa Ali trying to make sure Gargano ain't going to make a return name off his behalf. As we mentioned, things haven't really been going the way of Ali as of late. WWE Championship opportunity slipping through the fingers of Ali. And you remember Ali was a participant in a fatal five-way number one contenders matchup for the Intercontinental Championship, which was inevitably won by Dolph Ziggler which led Ziggler on the Survivor Series to contest against Tommaso Ciampa. So Ali definitely looking to bounce back here tonight. He will be on his way to Friday Night SmackDown. So I 
guess his swan song here tonight on Monday Night Raw, at least for the time being. But he's got Johnny Gargano, an unexpected opponent, in his sights here tonight. He's got to stay focused. Can't let the surprise and the atmosphere of the night here on Raw in the WWE Draft distract him from the ultimate prize of getting his hand raised inside the squared circle. Big time leg drop from Mustafa Ali. Here the cover he goes on Gargano and Johnny getting the shoulder up. What a surprise. Multiple names picked up in round number two, or excuse me, round number one, two, and three of the WWE Draft. Names that have been on hiatus, names that have been out with an injuries, names from NXT, I mean, LA Knight, Walter, all of Imperium, The New Day. As we mentioned, Kofi Kingston's been taking a hiatus. Big E and Xavier Woods been injured near, damn near all year long. Gargano, spear to Mustafa Ali. Both men go crashing down on the outside of the ring. Man, what a matchup we got on our hands here tonight in Cleveland on the WWE Draft. Gargano showing up and showing out here against Ali. Now Ali is worse for wear. Big time spear to the outside of the ring by Johnny Wrestling. Now again, Gargano taking Ali over. That drop kick to the back of the head. You see Gargano's been going to those drop kicks a couple of times throughout this matchup. Going to the well with what works on Ali. Now look at this classic Gargano maneuver there with the kick to the side of the head. Going into the cover is Johnny Wrestling. And will that be enough to keep Ali down? But Ali gets the shoulder up. And of course, the WWE Draft tonight, our next episode of Universe Mode going to be the return of Friday Night SmackDown back on the air. And a whole lot of news, I'm sure, is going to be coming out of that noteworthy event. So stay tuned for the next episode of Universe Mode right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel for Friday Night SmackDown. The roster already coming together. And one more round still to go in the WWE Draft. Coming up in moments after this matchup, Gargano, look at this, nice maneuver, going to steal the victory here over Ali, but Ali able to power out. And two pound for pound, just incredibly gifted wrestlers inside of the squared circle right now. So similar yet so different in styles, and Gargano, look at that, snap suplex, simple maneuver, Ali's foot was under the ropes, Gargano was going for the cover there. Could have stole one against Ali. And Ali, I mean, he had no idea he was going to be facing a returning Johnny Gargano tonight. You got to wonder how his strategy for this matchup has adjusted from bell to bell so far. Gargano's down. Ali on the outside of the ring. Look at this. Vintage Ali. Face plant. Gargano eats the canvas for dinner. And I'm sure it didn't taste as good as some Thanksgiving leftovers. Gargano gets the shoulder up. What's Ali got to do? to keep Johnny Wrestling down here tonight. Mustafa Ali looking to leave Monday Night Raw and head to Friday Night SmackDown in the winning ways with momentum on his side. Crossbody caught by Gargano, putting him on the canvas. Drops an elbow there. And you see Gargano's really kind of shifted his strategy a couple of times throughout this matchup as well. Combat Ali, and there's another reversal from Ali. Mustafa heading to the top rope. Gargano right there trying to cut him off. And a fall away slam. Back and forth, the momentum is really going in this matchup. Nobody can seem to get the upper hand over the other. Of course, still to come in moments. Not only are we going to have the fourth round of the WWE Draft, fourth and final round, we have your main event matchup. No holds barred. The original bro, Matt Riddle, one-on-one -on -one with the colossal Nigerian giant Omas. Those two men have... And chomping at the bit, especially Riddle, to get their hands on one another for several months, and they're going to conclude the storied history between the two men right here tonight in Moments on Raw. It's Gargano going back to the well with what works. Drop kick to the side of the head of Mustafa Ali. And Ali is down. Gargano's got him worse for wear right now. Is Johnny Wrestling going to have a successful return to the WWE here tonight in his hometown of Cleveland, or is Ali going to spoil that? for the whole shebang here tonight. And to the cover goes Ali off that kick with Gargano still in this matchup. Gargano's taking a lot of offense. Gargano, excuse me, Mustafa Ali's taking a lot of offense from Gargano. Mustafa Ali kind of playing catch up right now. Remember that spear to the outside earlier on in this matchup really was a turning point in multiple ways. And wait a minute, Ali, beautiful swinging neck breaker. 
Could be all she wrote for the whole shebang. Ali's heading up top. Could be looking for the 450, but Johnny's right there to send him crashing down to the canvas again. Excuse me, Ali. That may have been his window of opportunity that Gargano just shot right there. Ali's down. Gargano going to trip him up, but I think we know what's coming. Lock it in there. Gargano escape. Dead center of the ring. Ali with nowhere to go. And Mustafa Ali tapping out. And a successful return to the WWE for Johnny Wrestling, for the whole shebang, for the former NXT Grand Slam champion, Johnny Gargano, back here on Raw, back here to stay, and picks up the victory. Mustafa Ali unfortunately heading to SmackDown with another L in the column, but will the future be bright for Ali on Friday nights? We'll see where Gargano heads in the WWE Draft. Well, it is time for the fourth and final round of the WWE Draft. What a night it has been. We are going to finish out the draft pool for Raw and SmackDown right now. So kicking it off for Monday Night Raw, it is going to be the man who we just saw make his in-ring return, the NXT Grand Slam champion, successful off a victory over Mustafa Ali, Johnny Gargano, staying right here on Monday Night Raw. And kicking off round number four for Friday Night SmackDown, Oh man, Seth Rollins, former disciple Murphy, who's got a bone to pick with the visionary. I'm sure Rollins ain't happy about this pick, but I'm sure Murphy loves it. Buddy Murphy headed to SmackDown. Up next for Raw, the former NXT United Kingdom champion, Ilya Dragunov. He is impressed since coming to the main roster with matches against Sheamus and Tommaso Ciampa. What's next in the career on Raw for Dragunov? And up next for SmackDown, it's gonna be Shelton Benjamin. So Shelton Benjamin gonna be heading to SmackDown. Bobby Lashley, an MVP there as well. Omos is over on Raw. The Hurt Business looking a little in shambles right now, but Shelton Benjamin finds his home on Friday nights. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford may have came up short earlier tonight against Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. They're gonna have the chance to run it back in the near future. The Street Profits staying on Monday Night Raw. And up next for Friday Night SmackDown, it is going to be the team of Chad Gable and Otis, Alpha Academy. So not only a tag team for SmackDown here, but Chad Gable could be looking at another opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship in the near future. Remains to be seen. Up next for Raw, Cedric Alexander. The Hurt Business continues to be dissembled in the WWE Draft. Cedric could have joined Omos on Raw. Could Cedric just be looking to go his own ways, though? We're going to find that out in the near future. Next for SmackDown. John Morrison and The Miz, tag team, picked up for Friday night. Former multiple time tag team champions, Morrison and Miz gonna be making their home on the blue brand. Three more picks left each. The modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal, former number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Could be looking to get back there. Could be looking to become a WWE champion again. Jinder Mahal heads to Monday Night Raw. Up next for SmackDown, it's going to be another NXT draft choice. The mysterious Dexter Loomis headed to Friday Night SmackDown. Going to join Imperium and LA Knight as some of the NXT draft picks here this evening. Jordan Devlin, who has been impressive throughout his career in the main roster in WWE so far, could be looking to tangle it up with the names like Pete Dunne and Ilya Dragunov, some fellow UK competitors here on Monday Night Raw. Next up for SmackDown. Oh, he's been out with injury for quite some time, but SmackDown gonna be able to walk with Elias. Elias making his way back to the WWE, a part of Friday Night SmackDown in the blue brand. And the final pickup for Raw, gonna be a little bit of fun on Monday nights. The final draft choice for Raw, R-Truth. R-Truth may be a jokester, but he knows how to get it done inside of the ring. Truth is heading to Raw, and who's gonna be last up for SmackDown to finish out the draft? Oh, that's going to be Happy Corbin, another man who's been on the shelf with a shoulder injury the last number of months, the, the, excuse me, the majority of this year. But Happy Corbin, your final pickup, heading to the blue brand for Friday Night SmackDown. Well, that concludes the WWE Draft round one, two, three, and four in the books. Friday Night SmackDown is going to kick off a new era here in the WWE. But before we get there, 
We got a little unfinished business to settle inside of the square circle. It's no holds barred. The Nigerian giant, the colossal Omas. A few months ago, went one-on-one -on -one with the original Bro Riddle on main event. Riddle won the match via countout, which only infuriated that man Omas even more. Omas took it upon himself to lay out Riddle moments after the bell sounded, sending him crashing through a table inside of the ring. Matt Riddle hasn't forgot about the waste that was left by that man Omas. A lot of intertwined stories with the Hurt Business and AJ Styles, Damian Priest, Dominic Dijakovic. It was this past Thursday at Survivor Series that the World Tag Team Champions Dijakovic and Priest, along with AJ Styles, defeated Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin, and Bobby Lashley of the Hurt Business to conclude all of their issues once and for all. But there's still just a little, just a little of unfinished business left to be settled, and the blood is going to be spilled here tonight in your main event. The Nigerian giant Omas. I guess you could say former member of the Hurt Business now that that faction has been absolutely blown up a part of this draft. But nonetheless, he's a dangerous competitor. And Riddle's got to be careful here tonight, but I'm sure the original bro is ready to come out swinging when the lights are on bright here in Cleveland. We've talked about how Riddle has been on a rocky ship over the last couple of months since his partnership with Randy Orton imploded. Ever since Riddle fought Randy Orton back in Extreme Rules, we've talked about how Riddle may just not be the same man anymore. But nonetheless, Riddle's looking to bounce back, looking to shut up some of the naysayers, and looking to prove himself yet again on his own here on Monday Night Raw. And we know both of these men are going to continue to be a part of the red, red brand, excuse us. Both men drafted by Triple H in Monday Night Raw earlier tonight. So it may not be the last time we see Riddle and Omos cross paths, but for now, they're looking to settle the score. Anything goes in this matchup. Can only be won by pinfall or submission. There won't be no countouts this time around. No disqualifications in this contest. So here we go with your main event. Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, Cleveland, Ohio. Monday Night Raw, the 2022 WWE Draft comes to a head with Omos and Riddle. No holds barred. And Riddle taking the fight to Omos with a couple of knees there. Doesn't even take the big man off his feet. And there's the Nigerian giant manhandling Riddle and sends him down to the floor. So Riddle's got to be careful of the destructive path that Omos leaves everywhere he goes. Riddle's been in the ring with the Nigerian giant before. As we mentioned, he outlasted Omos by a count out. So I'm sure Riddle, on the other hand, wants to kind of shut up some of the naysayers and proving that he can defeat Omos inside of the ring. It's a dangerous environment. Omos is already a dangerous man as is. Now adding the fact that there's no count outs, no disqualifications, anything can happen in this matchup. These men got to be careful for Riddle trying to hang in there, unloading, and takes Omos off his feet for the first time in the matchup. And Riddle headed to the outside. I'm sure the original bro looking to take advantage of the no-holds-barred stipulation here. And Riddle pulling out the wood. He remembers Omos sent him crashing through that table a couple of months ago. Looking to get retribution tonight, but Omos right there slams him down. Riddle may have hit the table too on the outside of the ring. Nigerian Giant looking to beat the hell out of the original bro tonight. Make a statement off his behalf. Riddle trying to make sure that does not happen. Overhand chop, but Omos just shoves him off. It's a dangerous situation these two men are in here tonight on Raw. Riddle unloading again. Another Insiguri kick. Riddle grabbing that table that he tried bringing into play a moment ago, but Omos is avoiding it at all costs. Omos may be not even interested and using any weapons to his advantage. He knows how destructive he can be inside of the ring. He may not feel the need. Riddle, on the other hand, gonna be looking to take full advantage. Able to tackle Omos off his feet and follows it up with a Broton. Springboard goes for another one, but Omos out of the way there. Riddle's gotta be careful. He's gotta pick his spots in this matchup against somebody the size and stature of the Nigerian Giant. Moss picking up Riddle. Got him over the shoulder here. Sends him into the corner face first. Riddle goes down. Omos into the cover. Looking to make short work of the original bro. But Riddle gets the shoulder up. 
and count Riddle out, man. We may be questioning where his mindset has been at the last number of months, if he can really, if he's really the same man he used to be inside of the ring, but we know how tough at the end of the day Riddle can be, and we know he ain't gonna go down without a fight. But Omas, leaving Riddle to look up at the lights off that big boot, now picks him up. Not done with the destruction, just yet inside of the ring, big time slam. World's strongest slam liked by the Nigeria Giant, and he'll step it over his competitor. Absolutely no respect for Riddles right there to try to fight back and follows it up with a Broton. Riddle doing all he can to survive and no holds barred tonight. Moss is down, Riddle heading to the outside of the ring. Let's see what the original bros got in mind. The wheels are turning, looking underneath the ring again. Riddle's got a steel chair on Omas again, rejecting any use of the weapons from Riddle. No interest from the colossal Omas. Riddle wanted the chair, Omas had other plans. He's got Riddle up, and face first he goes on the hardest part of the ring there. Moss doesn't need any steel chairs or wooden tables to beat you up, and neither does Riddle, but obviously with somebody opposing, such as Omas, Riddle trying to take full advantage, and he does right there. Omas, not paying attention, gets hung up in the top rope, and now Riddle's got that steel chair. And Omas again avoids it. Omas wants no parts, and there's a tackle by Riddle. One of the only ways to take Omas off your feet, off his feet, excuse me, just throw your whole body weight at him. That's exactly what the original bro did just there. Steel chair over the head of Omas. And only one shot there. Omas got back to his feet, but Riddle delivers a knee. Now Riddle's headed up to the top rope. Could that be all she wrote? Bro Todd for the top. Riddle goes into the cover. But Omas, only a count of one. Omas gets the shoulder up in just a matter of a second. Matt Riddle used the chair, followed it up with a, a knee to the Chrome Dome, and then went high risk, high reward. Now Springboard, fall away on Omas. Not enough to put the big man away just yet, but the Riddle, or excuse me, the original bro Riddle, his wheels are turning here in Cleveland. Oh, now he's going back to that table that he tried re reintroducing earlier. Omas had no, wanted no parts. Riddle trying to unload on the big man now. Trying to keep him down while Riddle can set up some destruction. Oh, he's got back to that chair. Chair shot to the back of the legs of Omas. And that's smart by Riddle. The man can't stand. He can't fight. One over the head as well. A swing and a miss that time. And he hits him that time. Omas is down and could be in trouble in this no holds barred affair. What's Riddle got in mind? Omas is getting to his feet. Riddle's got to pick his spots and he's got to pick his spots now. It's a nice Superman punch, but Omas, look at you can't keep Omas down. He just keeps on coming. Riddle setting up the table. Oh, and Omas hits it. And Riddle, what a kick, sends Omas through the table. The kick to the side of the head knocks the balance loose of the Nigerian giant. Omas goes crashing and burning through the table. Omas is in trouble. Riddle's tied him up. Submission hold here. And the Nigerian giant taps out. Matt Riddle, retribution officially seeked and no holds barred here tonight. That was one hell of a fight here on Monday Night Raw. Omas avoided the table and the steel chair at all cost. But Riddle came out with a plan and he executed it to perfection here. Anything means necessary to keep the big man down. And you see right here Riddle going back to his MMA roots. Submission hold all tied up was the Nigerian giant had no choice but to tap out in the middle of the ring. Matt Riddle picks up the win after AJ Styles, Priest, and Dijakovic beat the Hurt Business at Survivor Series. It looks like that business has officially gone up in flames. What a night here on Raw. Riddle picks up the victory. The WWE Draft, a complete success. And ladies and gentlemen, next, wait, wait, wait a minute here. Cameras cut to the back, that's Edge and that's Kevin Owens.
Edge shouldn't even be in the arena here tonight. He's only here for the WWE Draft. Nursing injuries from Hell in the Cell. Kevin Owens, who we haven't seen all damn year, who's been on the shelf since WrestleMania. Back in the locker room area, Kevin Owens is assaulting the Rated R Superstar. Getting some damn help back there. Kevin Owens only in the building tonight for the same reason. For the draft, and he sends Edge through the table. Edge is nowhere near 100%. He just went through hell in the cell last Thursday. Is only in the building tonight to see where his fate lied in the WWE draft. And Kevin Owens is making a statement off the Rated R Superstar's behalf. Into the concrete wall. Wait a minute, where's Kevin Owens going? Not off the ledge! Edge sent through another table, off the ledge, down to the concrete. Referee's just a bystander right now. There's nothing he can do. He gets in the way. Kevin Owens is going to start kicking ass. Oh, come on, not a stunner. I don't even know what to make of this. But two men who were drafted to Monday Night Raw earlier, Kevin Owens is back. And whether you like it or not, a statement was just made here on the draft. Game face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.